what content can I write for my blog? Now at the moment, on sites like Kiora and forums and places like that, there are a lot of people who are running online who are looking to supplement their income in some way. I've seen questions like, can I make money from blogging? How do I make money from Facebook? How do I make money from Instagram? And all those different things. So there's people coming online now that are probably asking that question that have never really thought about going online before, but they probably have heard, you know, these stories of bloggers making a fortune every month or people with huge Instagram followings making, you know, a couple of thousand dollars for every time they send a message out to their followers. Or again, this kind of Kim Kardashian kind of thing that they assume that with a huge following they are going to be able to retire, sit back and basically just take selfies all day and they're gonna make money from it. But I'm here to tell you that that is very, very rare. Now, for anyone who is thinking of creating a blog, before I actually get into the content ideas, I just wanna ask you a question. Is blogging right for you? Now it's okay, a lot of people, you know, you might see stories of a lot of people making money in blogging, somebody making $10,000 a month or $20,000 a month or whatever it is, and yes, there are people making that. But can I ask you, if you were given the keys of Facebook today, now I don't mean Facebook right now, I mean Facebook at the very, very beginning, when there was no content on it, when there was no followers on it, you know, would you build it, build it up to where it is right now? Now, a lot of people would probably say, definitely not. You would love to get the keys of it now, when it is really, really successful. But if you do look at Facebook at the moment, it's full probably with millions of pages of content. It's filled with uh, probably millions of people going to it every day. So all that stuff is already in place. But at one stage, Facebook probably had no content on it. At one stage, Facebook had probably no traffic to it at all, apart from maybe Mark Zuckerberg and the handful of people who were probably working on it. But nobody knew it was out there. And if you are someone who is looking to take up blogging, that is what you're going to be faced with. You're going to be faced with a Facebook that has no content and that has no traffic. So if you think that, you know, blogging is right for you, it's up to you to fill out that site with content. It's up to you to attract an audience to that site. Now, unfortunately, a lot of people, you know, the idea of blogging probably seems fantastic, but when you put it into the kind of the cold, harsh light of reality, it's completely different. You know, if you think, well, it's okay, you know, making a couple of thousand dollars a month blogging, but that means that probably in the very, very beginning, you're gonna to have to show up regularly. You're probably gonna to have to write at least one piece of content or one video or put something on the blog every single day in the beginning to get the ball going. You might have to do that for a couple of years before you'll actually start seeing any results. Yeah, unfortunately, on some sites, you will probably have to put the work in for a couple of years, maybe three years, five years or whatever, before you will start being noticed, before you'll start gathering a crowd. And for you to think that you can put up a blog today and in two or three weeks time, retire on the earnings, I'm here to tell you that you were sadly deluded. So I just wanted to get that out of the way. I don't like bursting people's bubbles, but sometimes you have to make them aware of what they're getting into. And if that thought of filling out a site with content on a regular basis, probably doing it for free in the beginning because nobody's coming to it. If that thought seems off-putting and it's something you can't do, well then I'm here to tell you, save your time and have a look at doing something else instead because blogging isn't right for you. Now, if you are somebody who is willing to work for free for a couple of months or a couple of years until you start making money, if you're willing to write to a handful of people Rather than the thousands, some people would make you aware that you're gonna attract in the first week. But if you're willing to write to only a handful of people and you're happy to do that, then yes, you can make money in the long term from blogging. As I said, it is like, it'll be like your Facebook in years to come when it'll be filled with content and it will be filled with followers. But it's up to you to fill the site out and it's up to you to attract the audience. So, if we, once we've got over that hurdle, and again, not to burst anybody's bubble, but sometimes you have to make people aware of what they're actually getting into. And blogging isn't for everybody. You know, for the people that do make a lot of money blogging, it's because they have showed up regularly for years beforehand and they have built an audience. But unfortunately, there are probably thousands and thousands of blogs that have fallen by the wayside because people didn't write to them regularly and they didn't put any effort into attracting an audience to it. So that's probably the reason why those sites have failed. 
Now, if you're happy to continue along with this video, you haven't switched off at this stage, but you do want to try out blogging, what content can you write about? Now, the first thing I would probably say, rather than the content, what do you like actually talking about? You know, if I had no love of maybe writing, blogging and course creation and fiction work and stuff like that, I wouldn't be doing these videos. I would be wrapped up in bed right now and I wouldn't be walking around the field with my dog recording these videos. But I like doing what I'm doing. I like having these conversations with you through video and the podcast episodes. I like doing that and it doesn't take much motivation for me to get out of bed, to go for a walk with my dog, to record a couple of videos, put them on YouTube, put them on my podcast and put them out there. So if you have no love for the topic that you're going into, if you find maybe there is a topic, there probably are particular topics that are really, really, you know, are big money making ones. So we'd have probably the weight loss niche, you'd probably have the making money online niche, and you'd have all those kind of major ones. But if you aren't somebody who struggles with the weight, or if the thought of writing 10 articles on weight loss is gonna seem like the huge chore and isn't something that you can do regularly, I'm here to tell you that, that weight loss probably isn't a good topic to start off on. So first of all, what I'd recommend is finding something that you enjoy, something that you would like to find out more about. Now, you don't even need to be an expert to be a blogger. You could be, you know, you can kind of record your kind of your uh, your life through whatever topic. So you would have you in the beginner stage, you would have you reading a lot of books and you'd probably be writing articles on the books that you're reading and the beginner tips that you're learning. And as you grow over the next couple of years, you'll probably find that your content will get, you know, more mature. It'll probably have more advanced tips and tricks as you're learning more about your topic. So even though you mightn't be an expert on a topic, if you have a love of a particular topic, the more you probably read and learn about it, the more you'll want to pass that knowledge on to other people. And that is something that you can do. So don't dismiss something that maybe you might be an expert on right now and think that you have to go one of the major ones. You don't. Now again too, if you are writing a blog on something like, uh, something probably extreme like ladybird collecting or something like that, and the only reason I've thought about that because I've seen one on the ground there, uh, ladybird collecting. If you are writing a topic on something like that, you have to check first before you actually start writing any content, is anyone out there a fan of ladybird collecting? Does anyone do it? Does anyone ask questions on it? And you need to kind of get that out of the way first. Have a look and see, is it something that people are looking for? Because the last thing you want to do is start shouting in an empty room, writing content that nobody wants, and you are wasting your time. So again, you know, think outside the big topics because they are probably, you know, hugely overworked. Maybe look a little bit niche, but don't look too niche. Have a look and see, is there anybody looking for those questions? Now, one of the good things you can do, you can test all this out before you start, going to a website like Google and then typing in your main keyword. So if I was doing a blog on ladybird collecting, I would simply type in ladybird collecting into the search box and then I would just keep typing away and see does, um, or see does Google actually finish off what I'm trying to you know, request. So it might say ladybird collecting, how do you do it? And you will find that the auto kind of um, feature on Google will sometimes ask the question or answer the question you're about to ask. So have a look and see, you know, typing in your main keyword and then do a space and add an A and see does anything come up that way. So you will find then if anybody's actually asking questions on that topic. And if you find nobody's asking questions on that topic, there probably is a good reason why nobody is interested in it but you. And again, to go over to a site like Amazon, have a look and see is there any books on Ladybird Collecting. If you find there is none over there, that's also a good sign that nobody wants your content. So before you start, do a little bit of research, have a look and see what people are actually searching for. Now, if you do find that you have a topic that you would like to write about, and you do find a topic that people are interested in, again, what you can do is you can go over to a site like Amazon, and you can have a look at the books that have been sold over there on that topic. So say, for example, if I was doing something probably more mainstream, so for example, maybe dogs or dog training, what I would do is I would go over to Amazon, I would type in dog training in the keywords in the search box, I would have a look at the books that show up on the page, and then what I do is I get a pen and paper, and I would go through each book. Now what you can do, which is fantastic on Amazon, is you have, they have that look inside feature. So what you can do is you can click on the book cover, and then you usually will find that it will pop up in a little pop-up on the screen, 
well it'll allow you to look inside the first couple of pages in the book now what you can do is when you get into the book have a look at the index have a look at the ch the, the, the chapter headings or the sections and see what the author is asking or talking about or training or explaining or whatever in that book so what you would do is you might find in the dog training you would have maybe a, probably a beginner section at the start you'd have you know things like how do you train your dog what's the best way to train your dog can you train your dog from home do you need an expert to train a dog all those different things you would find all those questions so what you can do is you can simply get your piece of paper write all those headings down and that is your first content for your first couple of days and weeks you know if you are as i said you don't need to be an expert on that topic but what i would do is if i didn't know much about dog training and i wanted to maybe to train my dog and write a blog about it at the same time what i would do is i would go and do my homework on one of those topics go on to google go on to youtube have a look at a lot of videos read a lot of blogs forums and all that and kind of curate that information into one big blog post or do something like i'm doing here just simply talk to a camera and record a video and that could be your piece of content for today but go through all the books in that section and again you will find too when you go through the books you will find questions being asked over and over again i'm sure in a lot of those dog training books you probably have a beginner section you'd have a, a kind of uh, intermediate section and then you'd have an advanced section so you will see the same questions being asked over and over and over again so what you can do is simply go through all those books and you will have a long list of questions that you can ask now another thing then once you've got all that content created what can you write about next again go over to google it's going to be your best friend because you want to be writing content that your audience is looking for so again go over to google start typing in your main keyword so you could type in maybe dog training and then put a space and do a and see what google finishes it off with then once you write those results down or those questions then same thing again your main keyword dog training space but this time put a b so work your way through the alphabet now there is some pieces of software that you can buy that will all do that for you automatically and will pull out that content from google but if you haven't got that software or maybe if you're a little kind of tight for cash right now just do it by hand just work your way through the alphabet a b c d after your main keyword and see what questions comes up see what topics come up and again write all those down on the piece of paper that you have and again that will give you even more ideas for content and then again too don't dismiss going offline one of the best places you can come out with content ideas is magazines now if you go to your local news agent or if you order a couple of magazines from amazon on that particular topic so if i was interested in dog training i'm sure if i went over to amazon and done a search on dogs or dog training i would probably find a few magazines on that topic or again you may find even at your local store you might find some magazines on the rack about that topic so again what you do is you would take that magazine home go through it have a look at the popular topics you will probably find that there may be um and maybe a q a section where maybe readers can write into some expert on the panel of the magazine and they will ask questions and they will get their questions answered so what you could do is you could have a look at those questions see what people are asking and see if you could do your own version of a q a topic on your blog this week you know answering that question that person asked in that magazine because i'm sure if somebody asked that in the magazine there are probably a lot of people online who are searching that in google so you could have that content on your blog and again too when you're going through the magazine have a look at the products that are being sold or advertised in the magazine because i'm sure if people are advertising products in a dog magazine again they're probably paying a lot of money to get their advertising in the magazine and if they are paying a lot of money to get their ad in the magazine there is a good chance they're not doing it for the good of their health it's because they're actually making money on those products so have a look and see what products are being advertised in that magazine and again what you can do is you can go ahead and look for the equivalent of it on amazon and what you can do is you can sign up an amazon affiliate and what you can do is you can start advertising those products on your blog what you could do is you could write some review articles on them if you wanted to maybe to buy them you could take it home test it out and try it out and do a couple of videos on it but what you can do is you can help your audience then you know uncover what are the best products they should be buying where can they get them what's the good points the bad points or what should they be aware of so again you will find that in the magazines have a look at the advertisements have a look at what has been sold in the magazine and see if you can find the equivalent of it or if you can write some review articles on that 
and again you can make some money as an affiliate on Amazon or any site that maybe has an affiliate program where you can maybe make a 50% commission or whatever on that product so that when it is sold you will make a portion of the sale so think about that not just for um, content ideas but have a look for product ideas things that you should be advertising on your site or products that you should be writing about and again too in the magazines you'll probably find there probably are new products coming online and that magazine might be writing about them again not everybody will have seen that so why don't you write your own you know report on this new product or the news maybe something's changing in the dog training thing maybe the laws change on the particular things and maybe some of the dog owners might know about that and again you can use the magazine for content ideas so that should give you more than enough ideas to write about again go to amazon have a look at the books see what is being written about and again do your version of that go to google and do the autocomplete feature put in the main keyword and then go through the alphabet and then the last one then is to go offline buy some magazines physical magazines and sit down and read them and find out what the magazines are talking about or if you don't find them in your in your local store go to Amazon and again too if you find maybe that there isn't any magazines on a topic that you're about to write about that is probably a good sign that there's no money in that topic so avoid that because again magazines are there to make a profit they're not there just to keep people occupied running on the toilet they're there to keep you know to make a profit it's a business and if they see well if they can't make money on a magazine there's a good chance there's no money to be made in it so again avoid it like the plague if you do find that is the case so i hope i've helped you out and again as i said blogging is not for everybody if you imagine facebook without content without an audience that is what your blog is going to be like today it's up to you to do all the work and attract that audience to it and again if that seems too much for you to do i here to, i'm here to tell you maybe you should have a look at something else instead even though you may see the great stories of all the money that's been made it mightn't be right for you so i hope i've explained that i hope i've probably maybe informed you a little bit and pointed you in the right direction so if you'd like to ask me a question or you'd like to me to cover something upcoming video you can reach out to barryjmcdonald.gmail.com and you can ask me that way or if you go over to the rightcom site we have a great free report at the moment which is called words to wealth and in it i'm going to give you 10 different ways you can make money from your writing and again you don't even need to be a great writer if you're interested in something like blogging you will find a lot of good content in the magazine for that as well too so if you, if you want to head on over there just throw in your email address download the free report and let me know how you get on with it and as always thanks for sharing your time again today take care have a great day bye bye